What's up, everybody? How's it going? Andrew Double MMA here, and we're a couple of days removed from UFC Edmund uh, um, Brandon Moreno versus Amir Abazi, and well. I wanted to make a video breaking down the next matchups I'd like to see in between the top five of the of flyweight division. Um, before we get started with that, if you guys are new around here, please be sure to subscribe down below. Give me a like on the video. Give me some comments, some feedback. Um, we're really close to 250 subscribers, and you know that might be a little tiny baby number, but to me, incredible. Um, like I honestly, hey, but <coughs> okay. Um, but to me, it is, it's just amazing, you know, to go from 0 to 250 is incredible. And, you know, I hope it's just the beginning. I really, like, have a lot of inspirations, and I, I just thank you all so much. Um, but let's get started with today's video. So, let's start with the loser to fight. Um, so, I'd like to see Amir Abazi fight Taitsuro Tyra. Reason being, both of these guys are, like, relatively new to the top five, you know. They beat a couple of people to get to the top five. And the position they are um and then they both wanted to take that fight to um to get to the next level and get themselves in the title picture and both fell short um but i guess between these two i guess that two retired did a little bit better because he um you know he won like two of the rounds against brandon and royal um still lost but you know at least he didn't get dominated and um i don't think this is a very important matchup you know we can see like of these two losers who is the better one and then they can get propelled to fight another like top three opponent and hopefully fight for the title after that fight um in my mind this makes perfect sense i don't know you guys let me know what you guys think um as far as who i think uh will win i don't know i think like tattoos tyra might be just like his style of grappling might be a little bit too much for someone like amir albazi i give i give the only chance to amir albazi is like on the feet striking but I hope that the Zero Tire works on his striking after getting whooped by uh, Brandon Royval. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, I make this fight. Then, uh, well, there's a couple matchups I have here for Brandon Moreno. First being Kai Kara France. Um, I don't know. Part of me doesn't want to see this fight because I already see Brandon Moreno win two times against him in the UFC. And last time by finish. Um, but you know, sometimes you just got another choice. You know, everything's kind of bogged down at the moment. We got Kaya Sakura fighting um, Alexander Pantoja in December, next month, I guess. And after that, we have Brandon Royale fighting a winner. So it's going to be like at least like a year until someone can fight for the title. Like that's not those guys. I want to say because like, I want to say that, I mean, Kaya Sakura, I'm, Kaya Sakura you, know, you know, everyone has a chance, but he's probably going to lose to Pantoja. And um, and if Patojo wins, he's gonna fight Roy Val. He's probably gonna come back in May ish around there, whenever they go to Brazil or something. Sometime in like the first half of the year. And then like he's probably gonna come back around December again or something like that. You know, I mean, I don't know. They might bring him back like in July or something. Like we gotta see. But like I don't see him fighting more than like two times next year. You never, like I, but I said, you never know. If fights three times, it'll be better, you know, more people can, like, get their shot and the division moves along. Um, but basically, what I'm getting at is that the division is held up at the moment. And, uh, you know, just, just get things sorted here. Both of you guys kind of want to tie the shot. Have them fight. See who gets it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm behind my boy Brandon Moreno all the time. Mexico. And, um, yeah, like, like I said, I wouldn't want to see it, but it makes sense. And, you know, hopefully Brandon wins. Another option I have for Brandon Moreno is the loser of Kai Sakura versus Santa de Pantoja. Um, this one's just a little bit weird, just considering one, um, Kai Sakura is not even in the UFC rankings. Um, and like, it all depends on where he ends up if he loses. Um, he's 100%. If he loses, he's not going to be above Brandon Moreno in the rankings. He's number two in the world, behind only Roy Val because he beat him. Um, and um just yeah like i said like imagine like he loses and gets to like number six or something like that it wouldn't make a lot of sense for ben around to fight him um he, if he does you know good on him a fresh face for him and you know better for the division um but that's why i said the kai i don't know the the, the kai kai france one would be like probably the better one to make um but yeah like this fight makes like more sense on paper you know but they're like i think like 
in general, I think the, the Kai Car Friends would make more sense, but this is always an option. And then for the um, championship fight, the winner, yeah, pretty obvious, you know. Brandon Royval, he fought for the belt about a year ago. He lost. He had two fight wins since then. He beat Brandon Royval, number one in the world, short notice, too. And he beat um, Tatsura Tyra in a war, absolute war. Um, yeah, there's just without a doubt he deserves to fight for the bell next. Um, he's probably gonna fight Pantoja, like I said, sometime like in the first half of the year. Um, how do I see him doing? I don't know, man. Pantoja like seems pretty unbeatable at the moment. Um, the only way I see him losing is that age catches up to him and he just isn't as strong as he used to be. Um, but you never know. Like I said, this is a crazy sport. You never know. Um. But yeah, those are basically the matchups I like to see in the top five of the flyweight division. If you guys agree, let me know down below. If you guys like the video, be sure to like it. And thanks again for all the support again. But this has been Angel from Double MMA. Peace out.